All right, guys, here we are checking the mail this morning, and look what I got. The um, Wise to Go Piston. I don't know if you can read the numbers or not. 4393M081.5, or 8150. Um, the 8150 is the uh, 4. <clears throat> and I think the only difference is the M0. If it's N is in November, something else. It's the 12 to 1 compression piston. This is the 10.25 to 1. Gonna go ahead and call RD real quick and make sure that corresponds with the valve springs. Came with a new wrist pin, new locking pins, uh, new rings, new spark plug, and then this is their idea of a top end gasket kit. Luckily, I had some valve seals around here and a gasket for the um, chain tensioner. The um, Cam chain tensioner. Um, either way, not that hard to you know just make one up real quick. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the only one I was really worried about was this bottom one because I have one over here <clears throat> that was originally on that bike, but I think I tore it when I took it off. Can't remember why I took it off, but got a little bit of trimming to do on that top between the two cases so that that one will fit correctly. And then we're gonna start file fitting some rings here pretty soon, and uh, hopefully we we'll get this top end together here pretty soon. All right, guys. So just real quick, this is how I do my. Um, check my ring gap. I just fit the ring in there by hand, squeeze it nice and easy. And then, like, see this one, I'm doing the second ring, so I'm taking the top ring off. And all I do is just set it on the cylinder <coughs> until, it, uh, until it bottoms out to that ring. That way, you know, it's nice and square. These ring grooves are lined up and they're all square. And then, all you do is just reach in with your feeler gauge. Try to do this one handed here. Uh, this one calls for 0 0.022 on the top ring. So I got a, let's see what's this one here, 0 0.020, so this should be hair small. So you go in there nice and easy. Yep, slid right in. So I'll grab my other set. And we will try the 0 0.022. <coughs> Okay, 2-2 two, two fits, nice and tight. That's exactly what I want. So between that and the instructions I got from Wisco, which they're saying top ring should be, I don't know if I have a focus or not. Top ring should be 0 .004 inches. That's per inch of the diameter of your piston. So my piston is roughly 3.25 inches. So I just multiply that by 0 .004. And you end up with, uh, uh, I don't know, 0 0.016 or something like that. So as long as it's between 0 0.016 and um, 0 0.022, this one's right at about mm, 20, 21. So the 22 won't quite fit. It's a little tighter. So I think it'll be all right. I'm going to check my first ring, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, got the oil rings. <laughs> the oil spacer, the bottom ring, and the top ring on. A um, little bit of confusion with the oil ring. I was trying to put the one bottom ring on first and then put the spacer, but I forgot that the uh, oil ring actually holds the spacer in. So you put the bottom ring, or put the oil ring in first, or the spacer in first, the zigzaggy looking one. Sorry for my untechnical terms. Put the zigzaggy one in first, and then the bottom ring, and then the top ring, and it holds it in place. And then these ones, I just put my rings in my hand, just gotta be real careful. Uh, hold the edges apart, you know, hold them, pull them apart, and then slide them over. Just careful to scratch the side of your piston. And then I put my new clip on one side, then my new wrist pin, and then I got one more clip to put in. Um, kind of had a stupid moment there for a second. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not, but where's that? Right there, there's a little arrow, and a wise to go is it, I guess it faces the exhaust. Um, I was trying to remember how, which way it goes, I'm trying to remember which way I took the other one out. But uh, real simple to figure out, all I did was grab another spare head that I had and uh, looked at the exhaust ports, or the exhaust valves and the intake valves. I always thought the exhaust were bigger for some reason, but the intake are bigger on these. So I put the bigger ones in the back for intake and the smaller ones in the front for exhaust. Pretty simple to figure out. I'm pretty sure, I mean at least all the ones I've ever tore apart, the valves are different sizes. 
So if you get confused or about that, you're looking whatnot. If you have a flat a flat piston, um, usually it'll say in or out or as an in intake and out. But I guess the good way to remember this is that the arrow points all the way through. So you got your fuel coming in, combusting, and then exiting. So it's a straight arrow going straight through. Kind of an easy way to remember it. And uh, I'm positive that's the right way. No big deal. Um, gonna I cleaned up these those little tabs that were over there that were left over from the gasket. If I clean them all off, I'm gonna wipe this whole surface all the way down and double check for high spots of powder coat, which I should have done before I put my piston on. But I do things backwards. And then I'm gonna wipe a little bit of Honda Bond on there just because I don't want it to leak. And then we're gonna go ahead and wrestle this uh, jug on, which should be should be a real nice pain in the ass, but they're not too bad. Just do one ring at a time and kind of reach up from underneath and squeeze the ring until it wiggles into the cylinder and then hit the next one and the next one and then I go all the way down through. I've also got new dowel pins, the two big ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig those out and go ahead and replace those. As you can see, I replaced all my studs. Um, I guess I didn't replace this one. They were out of stock. I ordered like the last three and they are different. Uh, I thought they were all four the same, but I remember that when I ordered them, they were replaced different, or they were um, like they had different part numbers or whatever. So I can't remember which ones which. I think the taller ones go in the front. I can't remember it was a long time ago when I put these in. But uh, yeah, um, all four new studs, all four new washers, all four new nuts. And I got to dig out and try to find these two side um, bolts, two little six millimeter with eight millimeter heads on them. But anyway, I'll go ahead and take some video here in a little bit when the, when I get this uh, jug on. Here we go, guys. <clears throat> Got the wrist pin installed the rest of the way with the clips. Got the rings and the piston seat inside the jug. Got the jug on. Got the new uh, gasket on the bottom. I put a little bit of Honda Bond on the bottom of it. Um, got it all seated on there pretty level. It'll uh, draw down once you tighten the head on. Um, trying to think what else. I think that's pretty much about it. But oiled it up, got the rings in, got it all sitting in there. Got to find these two side bolts. And then um, start digging out the head bolts and go ahead and install the head and get it tied. All right, guys, we're getting there. Got this head installed. Uh, got all the bolts and that started. I looked everywhere for this day, for these uh, washers, these 10 millimeter washers. Um, couldn't find them. I was like, oh, I know for sure I ordered them because I ordered the new cap nuts. As you can see, I know the bolts are discontinued. Um, one of them, this one I think is new, new old stock off of eBay from a long time ago. Uh, never been used. But uh, head nuts are new. So uh, I went to Lowe's and got some uh, 10, mil 10 millimeter washers. I got grade eight, I think, or grade six. I remember I used some cheap ones before, some like 3H cheap ones, and it flattened right out. So I'm taking grade eight probably, at least that way. <clears throat> plenty strong and now I got to uh, <clears throat> torque them down to um, between 20 or 32 and um, now between 25 and 32 foot pounds so I'll probably put them at like 28 I'll uh, go like 10 then 20 and then 28 something like that <clears throat> got the old torque wrench out and uh, good news this side cover all I gotta do is remember how this kickstart gets um, adjusted or whatever and then I'll wire brush the end so it looks a little better um, but I was digging through all my stuff looking for those nuts and happened to find that side cover seal so I'm going to continue looking through that same bag of seals it was labeled bottom end stuff which makes sense because I ordered all the side cover seals and the bottom end seals at the same time I just had forgot to put that one in so maybe I have the valve cover seal which did not come in the mail today maybe it'll come tomorrow but at least for tonight I'd like to be able to get the valve cover on and get all the bolts that belong in there in there and in the right spots and have a mark that way when I do get that seal I can just pop it in put the shaft in and crank her down so hopefully here in a few minutes I'll have these all cranked down and I can start putting that cam in and get the time right, guys so here's the update <clears throat> got that seal in for the uh, little decompression deal got the kickstart shaft all back in not really sure if that's right um, I don't know why after that Tecate kickstarters in general just have me like pissed off um, got the head on torque everything down uh, got found the bolts for the side covers I bought this lot of bolts over here I think I got them off of eBay and all of them are practically brand new like you just hit them with a wire wheel for like a second 
and they shine right back up. I mean, they're not perfect, but a lot of the ones I was looking for, um, like all these bottom ones, they were all new. And I got another pile of brand new ones down there, but they're kind of, they're case bolts, so they're oddball. But starting to look pretty good. Got that gasket all back on the side. Found the bracket for here for the 86 model because instead of pulling forward, I think it is, they pull sideways. Um, found the bracket, it's right there, got to be painted. Um, so yeah, I found the bolts for that and got it all ready. Haven't really decided whether or not I'm going to put this cam in tonight or not. Getting pretty late. It's, uh, well, it's midnight. So I've been messing with this side cover for like ever, but now it's just kind of finding odds and ends and getting them together and going through the manual and trying to make sure everything's right. Um, put the Kickstarter on there just for a second and held the cam chain in my hand just to see what it would do. And it does, the Kickstarter seems to work and it ratchets back. So I'm hoping it's right. Hopefully it's not like a click off or something crazy. You take that damn side cover off again. This is probably gonna piss me off. Cause it's still dirty. Probably try to like, might have taken the side cover back off and just painting that. I don't know. Maybe I'll try to tape everything off or something and wire wheel it and paint it, something. Make it look a little better. That's my pet peeve is when you have all this stuff nice powder coated and then something like that sticks out like a damn sore thumb. But it works. But I don't know. We'll see. I've never really had to adjust one of these or get it to work. Because the one, the one on this one doesn't work. I never messed with it. I clean the shaft up a little bit and make it look a little better. Got to find a little C-clip for the bottom of this. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it for tonight. I'll probably go ahead and post this video just like this. I gotta trim these head studs too. I made sure they're nice and long. And then I looked at the other ones and they don't even stick out past the fins. I just don't want it to give me trouble when I go to put it in the frame. Which, hopefully will be soon. I think next I'm gonna start looking through my seals again and see if I can find that seal for the valve cover. But anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. All right guys, here's the last quick update for the night. <clears throat> everything's all together, everything's timed. Yanked my timing covers off. Use a 17 millimeter, turn this counterclockwise to the T mark. Lines up with the little hash mark on the side of the case. Lobes down, and then you got either, there's a mark on the flywheel here and a mark on the flywheel here. They line up with this and this. Just in case you didn't know, put a bunch of assembly lube over everything. A little bit on each valve stem, a little bit all over the cam, cam journals. Put some oil down in the cam journals, that way it won't be a dry start. Um, trying to figure out how I can get some of that assembly lube down into the cylinder. That way I can get it worked in there. <clears throat> Did give it a little shot of oil. I'm sure it'll be fine. But, uh, gotta get this valve cover put on. Uh, I gotta get all the bolts and everything ready for that. Find out which the bolts are and then hope that that seal comes in tomorrow and then I can get this whole motor together. Um, gotta clean up the oil cooler and its lines, all of its holes and whatnot. But anyway, this time, seriously, video is over. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. Give me a comment and see what you say. Appreciate it.